We are starting a two-part series teaching you how you can customize your Zoom meetings, Zoom rooms, and even webinars, how you can add your logo, how you can add a banner, how you can um, make brand your waiting rooms. And then the last part is going to be how you can bring in third-party software to bring it to the next level. How can you give your Zoom a facelift and make it refreshing and make it engaging and make people look forward to that Zoom call, the next Zoom call. Exactly. Or let's say that, you know, we're still working at home and we have messy backgrounds and things of that nature. You want to mask it up and people are using the virtual background in Zoom, but a lot of people still don't know how to use it the proper way. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and this is what we're going to get into in this, into this series. It's like, uh, you know, there's a lot of misconception when using the, the virtual background. Um, they think that, you know, you just turn on the button and, and why is my arm missing? Right? So there's a good reason for that. And we're going to get right. into that. So we're going to be providing a materials list for you. Uh, the things that you need to get your virtual background looking amazing. So your arm is not missing. So when you move, it doesn't go like, right? Exactly. You don't become a part of the background, right? <laughs> so you want to stand out from the background, not be the background. So. Right. <laughs> well, screen sharing tips, how to share screens seamlessly, right? That's a very important feature in Zoom. Um, you know, a lot of people still need help with screen um, screen sharing, how to share specific windows within Zoom, how to share videos and how to um, share sound and optimize your sound. So we're going to go into a little bit more in depth about how to do that seamlessly right yeah Mobile app versus oh, go ahead Anna. No, and i thought that too, i would have thought that as well that just by sharing the screen clicking on screen share audio is going to transfer the video is going to transfer perfectly and all of that without any tweaking right and that is not true correct fulgence henry right that's not true and also too there um there's a misconception that in order to um allow a participant to share their screen, you have to give them complete, you know, control as a host. And that's not true as well. So there's ways where you can have multiple participants share screen. So we'll go into that as well. Yes. <laughs> right. Um, mobile app versus desktop apps, there are definitely different um, differences in mobile versus desktop and also differences in what type of mobile that you're using, whether it's your phone or a tablet and the features in that or how those features function versus what you're going to get in the desktop, you know? Mm -hmm. So we're going to go into that as well. Oh, and this is the best. We say <laughs> the best for last. Uh, yes. Using production software, um, how to maximize your production value inside of Zoom using third-party apps that will serve as a virtual camera inside of Zoom. That's right. That, and that's amazing. I mean, like, that's, that's next level I don't want to call it, I don't want to call it bougie, but at the same time I want to, <laughs> right? Because this it's just like next level, the things that you could do once you integrate uh, a third party app um, into, into Zoom. And we're going to go over you guys, one that's paid and one that's free. Um, so that, and then you guys can, can, and we actually, and we're going to give you our thoughts on each. They're, they're both good. Um, one of them is great. <laughs> I was on a, on a Zoom call this morning, right? And I was uh -huh. like, okay. Let me not use my virtual camera. I went in there, like checked the video settings and I started playing with the lighting and the video filters. And I'm like, uh, you know what? I'll just stay regular. Because like, <laughs> I don't want them to ask me any questions right now. I just want this meeting to be one and done with. Like, I'll just stay basic. Well, I was like, wow, I'm looking really good on camera right now. You can do things to make yourself look good. Just walking up, like straight out of bed or something like that. No makeup on or anything like that. You can do things. So okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Anna Hill. And I'm Fulgence Henry. Thank you so much, you guys. Have a great day and see you next Thursday. Bye. Bye.